Have you ever heard someone reference the 80s? If so, did you detect all the nostalgia presence in every word that they uttered? I know I have. I've been one of them. And I wasn't even alive back then. This decade left behind a plethora of masterpieces and pop culture hits that forever changed the artistic landscape, such as Predator, Tron, Back to the Future, Robocop, Terminator, Indiana Jones, Blade Runner, and so many more. But the 80s also played an important role in pop culture. They were the impervious shelter beneath which the flame for the cyberpunk genre was sparked. A byproduct of our fears and dreams for the future have forged a genre across all forms of art. An hyper-reality. I was first introduced to the cyberpunk genre as a young kid. It was the early 2000s and they were starting to hear the Matrix on TV on multiple occasions. I remember being confused, weirded out, but somewhat impressed. This was a first for me. I was used to seeing crazy stuff happen in cartoons, but to see it happen in movies was a novelty. Yes, I know movies had crazy things happen on screen before the Matrix, but I wasn't into movies as a kid. For the record, I only saw snippets of the Matrix, I had no cohesive idea of the plot, and even if I did, I doubt I would have retained it for so long. But there is something I can still remember, and these are faint memories. In the days that came after I saw the Matrix, I tried to imitate Neo, the bullet dodges, the style, the poses, and with my barely literate English, his lines. It was something else. Eventually, I forgot about the Matrix for a long period of time. And it wouldn't be till I was 17 that this movie and the genre would come back into my life. Amidst this long time period, my love for video games grew exponentially. After all, I had played them since an early age with my family, especially my dad and my two older brothers. But as I grew older, quote unquote, I started playing more with my friends. I regularly asked the parents, my parents, if I could have one of my best friends come over to play some PS2 games. I harbor a lot of nostalgia for my early gaming years, and it might be because gaming nowadays encourages online play, but at a distance, so you don't get that unique experience we used to have back then. And this brings me to, my, to the next point in my life, the late teenage years. Boy oh boy, were these years interesting or what? To say I was going through changes and emotional crucibles would be a massive understatement. High school was the stepping stone for my adulthood, and it was a less than ideal transition to such a phase. It was also around this time that I got reintroduced to the cyberpunk genre. My English teacher made sure of that. He was, and still is, a very knowledgeable person, and is well versed in the cultural transition that we've been experiencing since the 1950s till today. And how could he? He lived it. So one day he brings this movie to the class. It was gonna be one of those classes. This little movie was called Blade Runner. We sat there in a dark room with the shutters lowered, barely paying attention to the movie, as per usual. As the movie went on and my classmates fell asleep, I was left to my own devices, so I decided to watch the movie. I had nothing else to do. Within the silent room, the fantastic jazz-like soundtrack mixed with the synthwave and intricacies filled the world displayed on screen with a helpless, horrible, yet calm and controlled atmosphere. Check it out. Details like these drew me into this genre. I instantly felt as if it manifested a big parallel between the world it depicted on screen and what I was facing in my life. The helplessness of a teen thrown into this jungle, the harsh conditions imposed by our society, but yet the calm feeling that permeated my personal space when I was left alone. As I left high school and got my first job, my first breakup, 
and my first notions of my future put together, I found myself choosing to be on my own. I legitimately started enjoying my own company, to the point where I proactively would search for some alone time. Even now, as a 22 year old, I still go around listening to synthwave slash game OSTs from Devil's X, Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. As they are, no pun intended, music to my ears. I really cannot overstate how atmospheric and somehow poetic these soundtracks can be. Take a listen. I'll end this personal story of mine with a quote that's slightly altered, which I feel encapsulates most of my feelings regarding the cyberpunk genre, its neon-filled streets, its soundtrack, and its amazing cultural impact. In a world where reality stars are presidents and everything is apparently fake, the cyberpunk genre represents our subconscious desire to embrace hyper-reality. For our generation, neon registers as an out-of-body escape a colorscape that allows us to revel in the unreal, even if it's just for a few hours in a movie theater or for a night on a lit-up dance floor. Since the dawn of mankind, art has always been a way of documenting current events, highlights of a great hunt, the appointment of a new king, or the depiction of a great battle. However, it has also taken under its own wing the task of criticizing the current society, to point out its flaws, to tell it like it is, or to cover it up, depending on the artist behind said art form. The cyberpunk genre is perhaps the most important and relevant to our current world and society, and that's why it has gained so much relevance and public appeal during the last few decades. It's a genre that amplifies our fears and hopes for the future and sets them up most of the time with a futuristic dystopian setting as an attempt to point out and thwart what could go wrong and to save and upkeep what needs to go right. It's a critique of everything our current technological and social construct creates as a byproduct of its existence. It also represents certain emotional states our society may incite upon its citizens. For all these reasons, I believe it's going to continue to get even bigger amongst the populace. We just had a big cyberpunk movie release last year, like Blade Runner 2049. Join that with the fact that the video game industry is already on the case, bring us titles like Cyberpunk 2077, and you can pretty much safely assume that the continued existence of this genre in the foreseeable future is assured. Leave your opinions about this genre in the comments, and as always, don't like, don't subscribe, and don't forget to scam yourself.